The State of Crypto is presented by Tron, connecting the world to the power of cryptocurrency. Now we turn to Jesse Hamilton. He's Coindesk's Deputy Managing Editor for Global Policy and Regulation. Jesse, thank you for joining us. So Coinbase is reportedly being probed by the SEC for allegedly listing securities. What's the latest that we know about that? Because apparently to this, apparently according to this Bloomberg report, ahead of this insider trading case that we learned about last week, they had already been investigating Coinbase. Right. So the question over defining what makes it security seems to definitely be coming to a head uh, with Coinbase and the SEC. Uh, they, as you point out, they had, Coinbase has had a rough week on the regulatory enforcement front, uh, dealing with with first this insider trading case against a former Coinbase manager, which also highlighted a, a list of tokens on on Coinbase's platform that the SEC considers securities. Then we have this this Bloomberg report yesterday of an apparently unrelated SEC investigation into whether the company is offering unregistered securities. So for its part, Coinbase strongly denies, of course, that any of its listings uh, meet the definition of securities. Uh, if the SEC brings an enforcement action, the the agency you know, always gets the last word, uh, of course, and SEC uh, Chair Gary Gensler isn't shy about declaring that most of the crypto tokens are securities, in his view, and that the platforms trading them need to register with the agency. So the industry has been, meanwhile, waiting for U.S. lawmakers to come up with an answer for this securities question for, for a while now. And there are bills in Congress that would settle the debate, but it doesn't seem as if the SEC is going to wait around. Uh, so it becomes a, a bit of a race to see if the congressional action will catch up to the agency's uh, enforcement disputes this year, or next year, rather. That's really interesting. Is there any indication that there could be enforcement actions against Coinbase, any language from Gary Gensler or, or otherwise, and or from Congress in actually bringing this up and trying to regulate cryptocurrencies and securities and or create legislation that provides greater clarity? Is, is more legislation perhaps in the future works? Yeah, I mean, uh, there are there are definitely bills that will resolve this this question that will clearly define what makes a security and and how the SEC should should enforce this. But they don't exist yet. So I mean, the, the bills the bills exist, but they haven't uh, been been passed yet, and we don't expect uh, any action on those kinds of like deep seated uh, sort of core definition issues until next year. So will SEC uh, you know, enforce uh, something where we'll, uh, they pursue an action against Coinbase, uh, it's it's hard to tell. And sometimes, sometimes investigations take a long time, so yeah. it, it could be in, in, in into next meantime, year anyway. Coinbase is certainly on the defensive on that. And moving on yeah. to one other subject, uh, U.S. stablecoin legislation is coming up, but the timeline has been updated. Can you tell us a bit about that? I, I you know, we thought it was going to drop on Thursday or this week. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was supposed to be this week. So we, we've we've definitely seen some interesting developments on, on Capitol Hill in the, in the last couple of days. Uh, we noted that there's been a snag in the House's uh, stablecoin bill that, that everybody's watching because it's maybe the only major DC effort that could potentially get traction in the short term. Uh, it was going fairly well, uh, in part because it's been a, a very narrow effort to oversee stablecoins. Um, which includes a path for non-banks to be issuers, which is a, a key thing for the industry. Uh, but then, uh, I believe it was on Friday, Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen called the chairwoman, uh, chairwoman of the Financial Services Committee and said the deal couldn't be done unless the bill also dealt with uh, the issue of, of custody of customer assets. Uh, that issue we've, we've seen become a serious sort of bone of contention lately. So Republicans objected to the last minute curveball, but uh, Treasury won't pass the bill without it. So we'll have to see what happens. At a minimum, it delayed introduction of the bill until after the August recess, maybe September. And you know, custody is a thorny problem to sort out, obviously, and, and could really <laughs> complicate what had been a single issue effort with the stablecoins.